vegetarian, again, you can omit the chicken broth and use vegetable broth. And just over three cups of water, I chose three and a half cups of water. Who you hear uh, sneaking around in the background, that was my husband. Um, and I'm going to be using my new Instant Pot that I got from him for Christmas, the Bluetooth one. Unfortunately, I won't be using the Bluetooth capability on it today, but more videos on that coming later. All right, I'm going to just dump everything in the Instant Pot, and I'll show you what that looks like. Just one second. Okay, so the ingredients, like I said, are two cups black eyed peas, dump. And to make these, um, you can use fresh or frozen, um, according to the recipe I found, which I'll put in the link below. I'm sorry, I'll put the link in the description box below. Or you can do what I did and use the Instant Pot Quick Soak method. And I will also leave that link below, but basically what it is, is putting one cup of dry rinsed beans in the Instant Pot with four cups of water and one teaspoon of salt. Cook it for under high pressure for two minutes and do the quick pressure release method. If you notice anything coming out of the steam valve, like foam or beans, just close the steam valve and then count to two or five and start again. All right, so bacon, you can admit if you omit if you choose. I'm gonna try it and see if my family likes it. I have baby carrots, two cloves or two stalks of celery. They were really thin celeries. Um, two large cloves of garlic, two cloves of garlic, three quarters of an onion, celery, and carrot. Get all of those in there. Sorry for the bump. Um, oops, forgot some onion. Waste not, want not. A little bit of chicken stock. Oops, didn't want to open. Sorry for that. We'll get it here in just a second though. And everybody has their favorite um, chicken stock that they can use or homemade. If I had homemade, I would definitely be using it. And making homemade in an instant pot is, is really, really easy. I haven't done it in a while. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, let me know. I know recently one of you requested um, I do a video on curry or um, Mexican, um, and I've got plans for that. It's coming up, but this the black eyed pea seemed appropriate, so I went ahead and planned this one. And then just over three cups of water. Okay, let me bring you around front and I'll show you how I set the Instant Pot up to cook. Okie dokie, so I've got all my ingredients in the Instant Pot. I'm going to go ahead and secure the lid. Ensure the valve is in the secure mode. The instructions say for soap beans, 10 to 15 minutes, which I could do for black eyed beans. beans and unsoaked for 20 to 25 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for um, somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna go with 18 and see what we get. So manual, adjust my time to 18 and let it go. Okay, um, when it's done, I will bring you guys back and have the taste test or reveal, take the lid off and give you the reveal. And um, as always, hopefully a taste test with my son. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, black eyed peas are done. Let's get a spoon out and we'll give them a open up and a stir. See how they turned out. Remember always open away from you? Oh, sometimes it sticks. Now oh, they look really, really good. Can you guys see that? Here, let me zoom in so you guys can see that. Can you see that? Let's get one and squish it. Oh yeah, it's just falling apart in my hands. 
All right, when Ian gets back, we'll go ahead and take a look, or taste them and see if he likes them. Okay, here's Ian, and he's gonna try the um, black eyed pea soup. Now? You know the drill. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. There you have it, folks. Thumbs up. All right. Um, love to hear what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. If you have any comments or questions or are curious about anything, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.